Hi, it's Matt from Sunshades. Today we're going to do a how-to video on how to remove Hunter Douglas window coverings from your window. The best thing when you start this process is to make sure the shade is raised all the way to the top. If you can't, it can still be done on most products, just much more difficult. We're going to look at the silhouette window shading and it has brackets. You can see little tabs at the top. You have to move those over to the left to unlock the shade and then slowly pull the shade out from the window and there you have it the shade comes right off when it's time to put the shade back up don't forget just to click them back over to the left so that when you insert the shade it relocks properly okay so we just looked at removing and reinstalling a silhouette window shade and the bracket system on the silhouette is identical to the Nantucket window covering as well as the pirouette all three of those shades have the exact same bracket system. The next product category we're going to look at is Duet Honeycomb Shades. Again, make sure that the product is raised fully in order to remove the shade easily. This shade, there's no visible brackets at the top. You actually have to go from underneath. You're going to need a screwdriver or some type of projectile to pop this up. You put your screwdriver up in behind and just release the bracket The next product category we're going to look at is wood blinds. How to remove either the Everwood or a real wood blind. The system is the same. First, you're going to want to remove your valance. This one is on the newer type metal clips, comes off very, uh, sorry, magnetic clips, comes off very easily. Then you're going to, again, raise your shade up to the top. These brackets are different than any other ones that we've looked at so far today. It's a box bracket one on the left and one on the uh, right. You're going to press, lift up that front system. Again, you're going to press up, lift up the front of that bracket, and then the shade just comes out nice and easy. And when it's time to go put it back in, again, you're just setting it inside and then locking those brackets back up. Just way so you know it's not gonna ever come out. Our next product category to look at, how to remove Providence woven woods. These are woven wood ro um, Roman system. Again, raise the shade all the way up. You can flip up the valance, and this is just a wing nut bracket. Loosen it right off and the shade comes right out. Make sure not to lose the wing nuts, put them in a bag somewhere, because when you have to go put the shade back up, you're definitely going to need those. The last product we're gonna look at today is the Hunter Douglas Banded Shades. In order to remove them, the bracket system is from underneath. There's no, nothing visible at the top of these shades and it goes the same for the designer roller shades. So whether you have banded shades or roller shades, the system is identical. You just need to get from underneath the shade, you can feel where the bracket is, pop it out, and then pop it out. There's two on this one and it just releases. Thanks for tuning in today to Sunshades and learning how to remove your Hunter Douglas window coverings. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy our lineup of products.